It's no secret that Josh Dunn is one of the most popular modern drummers out there today, and for good reason. Today, I'm going to break down the five things that make his drumming so amazing. So, let's jump into it. I was told when I get older, all my fears would shrink, but now I'm insecure, and I care what people think, yes. One of my favorite things about Josh Dunn's drumming is his broken apart beats and fills. This is one of the things that makes his drumming so unique. For example, if we take a look at the verse beat for the song Stressed Out, he's got a pretty basic pattern on the kick and the snare drum, which provides the foundation. Most drummers would just put an eighth note hi-hat pattern over this, but he decides to break it apart, remove notes, and that makes a relatively simple groove just more unique sounding. Check it out. Another example where he does this is the chorus of a song called Polarize. Here, a lot of drummers just play 16th notes the whole time, but he's breaking it apart. He has a chunk of 16th notes and then gaps. For a whole measure, he actually has a gap of hi-hats. And then in the last measure, he changes it to eighth note triplets, which just gives it a really cool broken apart feel. And this is what it sounds like. The second thing that makes Josh Dunn such an effective drummer is that all of his grooves fit perfectly for whatever song he's playing. So often as drummers, we think, what's the most complex thing that we could play? Or what's the thing that will make me sound the coolest? But oftentimes this can make the song sound worse. But Josh has a different approach where he tries to complement each song as much as he can. For example, in the song Levitate, his groove matches the rhythm of the vocals almost perfectly. It sounds like this. Calm down, calm down. Cowards only come through when the hours late and everyone's asleep, mind you. Now, show up, show up. I know I shouldn't say this, but a curse from you is all that I would need right now, man. Or another example is the song Heavy Dirty Soul. He came up with one drum beat that fits three completely different parts of the song really well. Now Josh Dunn is such a sick drummer because he knows what his end goal is. He wants to make the songs sound as best as we can. But unfortunately, too many of us drummers don't have an end goal in sight. And we're treating drumming like an all you can eat buffet where we're hearing a million different messages from a million different drummers and it can make our brain explode. But your drum lesson should actually guide you towards a goal so you can have a clear cut path to take your drumming to the next level. That's why I created a free four part course called the Master Drummer Roadmap where I teach you how to get your own drumming path so that you can reach your goals and take your drumming to the next level. If you want to get instant access to this course totally for free, click right here. But now, let's talk about Josh Dunn's snare sound. The third thing that is so cool about Josh Dunn's drumming is his uniquely dead snare sound. This is super cool because most drummers generally like to have a lot of life to their drums, maybe cranked up a little bit higher. But if you notice in almost every single one of 21 Pilots songs, Josh's drum is tuned low and deep and overall sounds pretty dead. Okay, how I would get his snare sound in three steps is number one, I would get a thick double ply coated snare drum head, such as the Remo P77, which is actually the exact same snare head that he uses. Step number two is to tighten each lug no more than a full turn around the drum. And step number three, finally, is dampening. You can either utilize this with gels, but if you really want to try to recreate his sound, I would recommend using a big, fat snare drum. Now that we have the right snare sound, we can start to sound a lot more like Josh Dunn, which is pretty fun. Check it out.
A lot of drummers only have two gears, creative and complex or simple and basic. Josh does an incredible job of combining these two things while keeping his beats simple, which is a good thing, but making them incredibly creative. One great example of this is the verse groove in the song Car Radio. If you check out the music, it's just a kick drum on beat one, a snare drum on beat three, but the hi-hat pattern has this cool broken up feel to it that is simple, but creative. Or we could take another example, like the verse beat of Jumpsuit. Now this is my absolute favorite part about Josh Dunn's drumming, and it might not be what you expect because it doesn't actually have to do with what he's playing, but how he's playing it. So many drummers have the ability to play something really awesome, but without this one key thing, it can really fall flat, especially when playing drums in front of people. So what is this one key thing? It's the fact that he can lay into his drums and bring the energy. One thing that I have found over my drumming career is the more energy you have live and on stage, the more people will be drawn to your drumming. With Josh just being a part of a two-piece band, he holds his energy as much as he can by standing up and hitting his drums hard, and it just looks and sounds awesome. So if you want to elevate your drumming performances, I would highly recommend trying to match Josh Dunn's energy when it comes to playing live. Josh is a master of simple creativity, but there's someone else who is a master of playing impressive beats and fills that will really blow your friend's minds. His name is Matt McGuire, and if you don't know him, you are missing out. Check out this video right here where I break down his five secret keys to impressive beats and fills, or level up your drumming with my free course right up here. Thanks for watching, stay true.